All right, so for those of you who have the electrical NTS uh, sample exam, uh, what they call it, sample questions plus solutions, this problem is from there. Um, I got this question actually suggestion to solve this problem from one of my subscribers. Um, this is on page 77, problem 17. Um, so you can look that up. Um, the problem says two discrete time signals um, X of n and y of n are defined as shown in this table right here with x of n is equal to y of n is equal to zero for all values of n less than minus one and for all values of n <coughs> greater than three okay and so the question is to find the convolution um, between x of n uh, between x of n and y of n for n minus 2, 2 plus 5. Now, um, so this is a uh, discrete time, um, discrete time convolution problem. And so if you go to your handbook on page, what page is this? 202. Um, I already looked that up. So we are going to apply this particular. Um, I guess summation okay and so I, I also looked at the uh, because the the book comes with solutions and I, I went to page 95 and I started looking up the uh, <coughs> the solutions and the first because they, they gave us like they gave us uh, like two options um, the first one I didn't really understand that one um, but the second why one I did so that's what I'm gonna go over Kind of show you how to do it with this particular with this um, convolution. So we are going to apply this summation right here, x k y n minus k. Now, um, <clears throat> so so you have two functions, right? And we are con uh, con convoluting, if that's a word. To, we are convoluting because this is not a multiplication. This is convolution. I have not really done like problems for basic problems with convolution so this is kind of jumping a little bit um, but I'll, I will probably do that a little bit later but this problem um, I think that person is taking the exam tomorrow so kind of want to help a little bit here um, <coughs> uh, April 30th um, okay so we have two functions and the way we do it is that um, this is just basically like a multiplication okay so we have this I'm not gonna follow the way they did it in the book I mean in the solution because uh, that's not the way I would do it. That's not the way I learn it in class. So I'll just do it my way. It's kind of is the same thing anyway, but um, it's a little bit different. Kind of different approach, but same thing. So we have. Uh, um, so we we are convoluting the, the the functions basically. So you have uh, x of n. That's the question right here, right? X of n. So zero, one, two, minus one, zero, one. Two uh, minus one and minus two until we have y of n is minus one uh, two one one and zero. Now we are just going to multiply and shift basically. So for instance, I'll just give you a simpler version here. If you have one two one and you're multiplying that one two one, this is primary school, okay? You, what you do, you multiply 1 times 1, 1 times 2, 1 times 1, right? And you shift, and then you come here to multiply the 2. So you have 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 1 is 2, etc. So that, um, uh, we are just going to do the exact same way over here. It's the same thing, okay? Um, now, some people, the way they did it in the book, I guess, um, uh, this is they started uh, from the other side I guess they did uh, this is what they did in the book and for the solution uh, 1 times 1 is 1 1 times 2 is 2 they looking at this one right here 1 times 1 is 1 and then they shifted from the left that's what they did here um, but I'm doing it the other way because that's what I, that's how I learned it that's what I'm more I'm more comfortable doing it that way. But in which case, um, in any case, rather, 
uh, you are multiplying and then adding afterwards later on and again the concept here is just to use um, the the summation right there I mean you can do it also by hand you know uh, for every K um, you do the summation one by one but it will take a long time so let's do it real quick okay so zero times um, that so we're multiplying zero by this and then we're multiplying one by the whole thing multiply one by the whole thing so I'll keep quiet and do it and um, we'll see what we have so zero times minus two is zero 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 and so I'm shifting okay so I'm not touching that so one times minus two is minus two uh, minus one two one and then zero and then we shift again okay minus two <coughs> minus one two one and zero so we shift again so this method is called um, I don't know what they call this there's a name for it but I can't remember right now okay so um, 2 minus 2 that is minus 4 minus 2 4 2 and 0 and then the last one here Okay, so my uh, I mean two, one, minus two, and this is supposed to be in order, right? Minus two, where was I? Minus one, and then zero. One minus one times zero is zero. Okay, since we're dealing with summation, oops, and we're gonna add all of them together one by one. So we can start from here or. Um, anywhere but um, yeah we start from the left right so we have a zero here uh, we have a minus one here we are adding right it's summation um, let's see here this is a zero two minus two is zero well this is a six Mm, zero is a three. Minus five is a minus three. That's a minus three again. Um, that's a minus two, and that's a zero. And this is your V N. This is your final entries right here. Yeah, I don't really have to circle it. I'm used to circling answers, but there it is. That's the answer here. So this is the uh, result of convoluting, if that's a word, um, x of n and y of n. Now, um, if you have the book, you can kind of see that it's kind of the same thing, but it's a little bit different. Um, uh, so this is how we, we, we get the answer. And... Um, I kind of apologize that I didn't have not gone through the basics of convolution because there's a lot of things that I have skipped here but since this was a specific question somebody wanted me to solve it um, I'm directly doing that but I'll come back and um, upload some videos videos um, uh, convolution videos for basic because you kind of have to understand the basics first before you can solve problems because I've kind of skipped so many different things here um, and so I, I will do that though, however. All right, so I hope you understand. And um, for those of you who have exams tomorrow, um, I've got a couple emails. Um, good luck. So um, hopefully you pass it. All right, so thanks and uh, see you later.